Hello, howdy, hi everybody. Sam Goodman, the hot nerd, bringing you another Coffee Tom with Sam. Got it right here, this gigantic Trenta black cold brew. Uh, wonderful, wonderful stuff. It is powering me through this drive. I'm on my way to Safety Focus 2020 in Las Vegas, so I'm taking this beautiful, beautiful scenic drive from Las Vegas, or from Phoenix to Las Vegas. So, thought I'd bring you along with me for, for a second. I'm gonna record a few videos, bang some of those things out, since I've got some time in the car. Um, I'm paying a lot of attention, don't worry, I know I'm gonna get the hate mail. Why are you using your phone in the car? I get it, we're safety people. It's the only two things we're allowed to talk about is use the handrail and don't use your phone in the car. All right, that's, our, that's, that's our two things. I'm practicing extreme situational awareness while I'm doing this. But what I wanted to talk to you about in this video was safety professional burnout and just professional burnout, just really in, in general. Um, I wrote that article, The Six Sucks uh, of the Safety Profession probably going to continue on that one really cool thing about that is I got a lot of stories from you guys and I want to get your permission to use them and maybe maybe publish some of those later on which would be kind of neat but a lot of where that goes is burnout right burnout is just it's it's totally real it can happen for tons and tons and tons of different reasons multiple ones that were listed in that article but what I really wanted to tell you about is what you should do when you think you're burned out or ways to help, I guess, minimize burnout. Just something something useful, some pro tips that I've learned. And again, some of these are in that article uh, that I wrote. So if you haven't checked it out, make sure you head over and check out the six sucks of working in the safety profession. The first one that I can tell you is to disconnect. That's the biggest thing you can do is disconnect. One of the pro tips that I left in that article uh, was to take your phone, put it on airplane mode, throw it in the glove box, throw it in your kitchen drawer, designate a place, wherever, and don't touch the dang thing. Leave it alone, right? I pick mine up all the time and I'm just looking at email for no reason. At like six o'clock at night, stressing myself out over crap, right? So find a way, whatever that way is, to disconnect from your phone, from your computer, from all of that stuff. It's not good for you. And that carries over to your personal phone too. Throw the thing down, right? Set up some time put it down and not mess with it. So quiet time, um, that's huge. Just disconnect from that stuff. Uh, another one that I like to tell people is to schedule dead time in their day. But that's super unproductive. No, it actually makes you a lot more productive. I find that when I have actual time scheduled to do nothing other than sit around and plan and think, come up with some pretty cool stuff and I get some time to get away from all this other stuff and go wander around and have more meaningful conversations with people and just just that it's more of a more of a connection with other folks through better conversations uh, and then just some more of a connection with what I'm trying to do because I have time to actually sit around and think about it so put that time on your calendar do not disturb do not overbook this time do not put anything here no meeting Fridays whatever you want to come up with all that stuff is super duper handy. And again, it helps you uh, from feeling like you're overwhelmed. It gives you some time to shut the door, turn on a little bit of music or put in your headphones and just do a podcast and just disconnect for a second. Um, another really, really, really big one for me is this. Don't hesitate to get away. Go away. Go use some PTO. Get out of town, take a weekend trip, do something that's not work related. Get your significant other, go on a romantic getaway. Get your kids together, go take them to an amusement park. Do something that's not work. Use your PTO, go away for more than a handful of days and just enjoy it. Get away, leave the phone. Again, stop working when you're not at work. I get that's easier said than done. If it wasn't, if it was, if it wasn't, uh, if it was easier, we wouldn't be talking about strategies on how to do it. But you totally can do it. So give it a shot. The last one I really want to touch on is this. There's always a chance that you work for a sucky employer. And I say that because I've worked for ones that have told me, if you use your PTO, you won't work here. 
been a long, 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 long time ago. Um, I won't divulge ever who some of those were, but it was a, it was a thing. I'm sorry, my phone's bouncing around. You need to write the state of, I'm still in Arizona. You should write the governor of Arizona and tell them how horrible these roads are. And they need to work on these things. So I'll get a little shaky, I apologize. But, so you might work for a sucky employer that says, you better not use your PTO. Or they might have an unspoken rule that says, if you use your PTO, you're not going to work here. They just don't understand the caring feeding of a professional or a safety professional. They don't understand that they're not doing themselves any favors, right? Um, so you need that time to get away. Uh, and if you have an employer that's in the way of that, you might be working for a not so great employer. Um, and that might not be the case at all. You might just need a change of scenery. You might need a different project. You might need a different location, a different plan, a different something uh, to get you out of a funk. That's perfectly normal too. That is an answer. We like to pretend that that's not an answer or feel that that's a bad answer sometimes, but that is, that is totally an answer. I have done that before. I've totally done that before and said, you know, I love you guys, but I got to get out of here. I'm just not effective anymore. I think that's a really interesting maturity point in a professional's life is when you kind of understand when burnout's a thing, when you need to walk away from a project or a location or an employer, uh, when you have kind of hit that, that that saturation point of, okay, this is as good as I'm ever going to get. I'm burned out and I'm getting worse. I need to walk away for my own benefit, for the benefit of the site, for the location. So what do you think? That was some quick stuff on burnout. This is a longer video, actually. It's a six minutes, seven minutes. Jeez. I like to ramble when I'm in the car. I have to do these more often. In the meantime, that's all I've got. What do you think? Like it, love it, hate it, gotta have it somewhere in between? How do you do with burnout? I'd love to know. Send me an email. Thehopnerd at gmail.com. Uh, throw it out in the comments down below. Keep sharing those stories with me. Those things are awesome. Again, thehopnerd at gmail.com. Head over to the website. www.thehopnerd.com Check out the podcast. It is awesome. I'm getting tons and tons and tons of people on, and it is a blast. So please check it out. I'm going to get some folks while I'm at Safety Focus 2020 in Las Vegas. That's going to be the funnest part, is I'm going to get lots and lots of people on the podcast, too. So all evening, I'm hoping to just line up people for the pod. So Until next time, Sam Goodman, The Hot Nerd, signing off. Bye, everybody. Bye.